This is an update on the 6809 computer that I've been building. Here I've added these four expansion slots, which are basically just 40-pin uh, female headers, 0.1-inch um, pin spacing. I only use uh, the top 30 pins. The other 10 are just covered in tape. And um, these allow me to add, you know, additional peripherals to the system, you know, sound video, things like that that I haven't made yet, but hopefully will in the future. And then we just have some uh, some buffer chips and transceivers over here on the side. And I haven't uh, I haven't soldered up any expansion cards yet, but I do have one on the breadboard over here. So let's turn this camera. And here we have a. A Motorola 6821 peripheral interface adapter, which basically gives you two 8-bit uh, bi-directional I.O. ports like you'd have on a microcontroller. And then we have a uh, DS1307 real-time clock, and that's connected to the 6821 uh, via the I2C bus. And I'm uh, doing all the I2C communication in software, bit banging it. Um, get very close to normal speed of 100 kilobits a second and this is really tight assembly language code running you know on the processor at 2 megahertz so um, it's, it's pretty tight and then we just have a 32.768 kilohertz uh, oscillator over there and then we also have the 6821 connected over here to some Nixie tubes because everything's better with Nixie tubes these are uh, OGI lumen boards um, They've got shift registers in them underneath, so basically you just send it, you know, serial uh, stream of bits, and it puts those numbers up on the uh, on the tubes. We've got a, a, a DC DC converter uh, module over there to generate the high voltage. And um, let's go ahead and plug this uh, this board in and see what we can do with it. All right, so I have this ribbon cable connecting the 6821 board to the first uh, expansion connector there and I've got the machine turned on let's adjust the uh, the display a little bit I'm gonna have to uh, gonna have to hold the camera while I type so I apologize for any uh, instability so we have some utility programs that I've written on the, uh, the compact flash card so the first one is just called date and that prints the date from the real-time clock and as you can see it hasn't been set yet so we can go ahead and do that with the uh, set date command which runs the set date program it's asking for the month I believe it is September the date is the 19th year is 2010 no this chip is not uh, Y 2.1 K compliant so hopefully We'll have something better by the time the year 2100 comes along. And day of the week, it is Sunday. And time, let's see, what time is it? It is 1044, so hour is 2244. And I don't care what the seconds are, so I'll put zero. And now we can see that our time is stored in the real time clock. Now, for the, uh, the really cool stuff, let's go ahead and put this time up on those Nixie tubes. So we'll run the Nixie program, and uh, that's off and running. And now we've got the time here on the tubes, 10.44 and 27.8 seconds p.m. And down here I've also got a little, a little button here. When I hold that, when I hold down the button, it displays the date, and when I let go, it brings it back to the time. Now, basically, the way this is working is the 1307 chip, the real-time clock, is generating a one hertz uh, square wave, and uh, and that line is connected into one of the uh, the interrupt inputs here on the 6821, and that's sending an interrupt to the processor once a second and the processor then updates the time. You can even see the, uh, I don't think you can see it here in the camera, but the, uh, you can actually see the lights flicker when the, um, when the interrupt comes through. And um, that's basically that. Um, in the future, I'll be uh, working on more expansion cards, um, sound, 
and uh, video and hopefully I'll get this thing hooked up to a, a color TV and then I'll be able to do some really awesome stuff so thanks for watching and these have been Nixie Tubes.